Alright, last battle of the bunch. Well, kind of. I have a couple of extra ones, but I might leave them, might not, don't know. This is against, I believe it's, what is his name? Fucking Whip22. And, um, I'm not gonna spoil a surprise. You know, we'll see how I do, you know. Most of the time I end up losing the game, so. I'm not gonna spoil it. Uh, you'll find out by watching the fucking battle, thank you. Even though I usually spoil my things, but what are you gonna do? Um, he has quite an interesting team. I did ask if the Blaziken was speed boost. He said no, and I'm like, well, I don't think speed boost Blaziken should be Uber anyway. Well placed Jelly can deal with that piece of shit, so whatever. Um, but he said no, it is a Blaze one, and Blaze one is fine. It is a fantastic Pokemon. Smoke on. Why is it Ubers? Oh, it's a complex bird. Oh, I think people can figure out how, you know, you'd put Blaze on it instead of Speed Boost. It, quite simple. Anyway, he's going to lead off with Vaporeon. I'm going to lead off with Crustle. Scald hurts a hell of a lot. I Stealth Rocks, Custap, Spikes. Good deal. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Crustle has done well. It has done exactly its job. See, Crustle, Bronzong, um, Harry Armor in my heel block team as well. Good pokes, good solid all-rounders that generally do their job 90% of the time. So, um, after getting my layer of spikes and stealth rocks up, I am going to go into uh, Low Pony, because Low Pony can copycat, heal bell, encore. He can do many things. So I encore him into Scald, and um, I don't think that was the best thing I could have done, to be honest, all things considered, because... At the end of the day, I don't really have anything I want to switch into a Scald. Gyarados, maybe, because I can rest if I get burned, but yeah, I don't really want to. And, um, yeah, I, I probably was better off waiting to see if I wanted to do anything else, but, oh, uh, great, I copycat. I give him some free HP, so, yeah. I was kind of low for options, but low punny was about the best thing I had to go to at this point in time since uh, quite a lot of my team is actually, you know, quite defensive, well, offensive, physically. I guess I could have gone to Starmie, but I couldn't accomplish anything there either. And I actually do go to Starmie, so, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to get him to leave, and there I jog my DS. I just want him to bugger off so I can do things without him getting in the way, annoying me. Um, I just suppose I do have a couple of mixed special attackers, but again, I don't really want to get into that. And he, um, pops right into Shed, Nin or Shed Ninja. I don't know why he wasn't running a spin. Uh, I, it's beyond me. But he didn't, and he dies for it, so, okay. And, um, I believe I just recovered up there. So, it's looking dandy, I have places to go, things to do, and he's going to bring in his own star mean. It's like, well, uh, I've seen this before. Oh, maybe this is the match where I copycat the recover. Oh, it's going to be good, maybe. Hopefully. Come on. Come on, memory. Help me out here, you bastard. Eh. So, um, I'm going to switch out because I don't want to take a T-bolt to the face. I'm going to go into Low Punny. He's going to T-bolt my face, and Low Punny doesn't care again for the 50th time because it's brilliant. Duh. Uh, a lot of the pokes I've made are pretty, pretty good. Um, I do encore him into T-Bolt, so I, yeah, I can switch out and go into Mamoswine and just be like, oh, hey, I'm going to EQ you now. Thanks for that. Um, but I am believe, I am believe, I believe I am going to Raw, hopefully, because it, why would it stay in, really? I, yeah, I couldn't see that happening to save my life, so. He is actually going to switch out, and he's going to go into his Vaporeon. I reckon a couple of EQs might have done a decent portion of this thing, but I'd rather just get a hell of a lot of entry hazards. However, Starmie just comes right back, and it's just like, ugh. ugh. One thing, I, I don't know if I saw Life Orb or not. It might be choice. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go into low punny just in case, you know, I might have to sack it. And he's going to go Hydro Pump and he's going to kill low punny. Oh, what a copycat recover! Buh. 
I'll pretend to be a mangy little five-year-old. I want my recover, damn it. Anyway, I'm going to go into Gyarados since I'm fairly sure he's choice now. He isn't getting any life orb damage, uh, no lefties gain, and um, he does go for a Hydro Pump. Does actually quite a lot of things considered. And EQ nearly takes him out. The uh, you bastard, why? However, I th think he actually switches here. He might do. Yeah, he's going to switch out, which is just like, whoa, you're going to die coming back in. And he's going to bring in Vaporeon. I EQ, and it does a hell of a lot. And, you know, Vaporeon, a lot of people run a, a massive amount of defense investment, but quite obviously not this guy. So I'm going to EQ him again, and I take out the Vaporeon, and I'm just sitting here, like, trying to pick my jaw up off the floor, because I just got a free Vaporeon kill for no reason. And he brings the Starmie, and that dies. I'm just like, hi, the war. When did this happen? You know, like, a couple of minutes ago, I was trying to pick up the pieces, and now it's looking dandy. But he's going to bring in his KFC, his, um, Blaziken here, and he's going to go for a Stone Edge, and... I'd assume Scarf, since um, Blaziken, in my experience, is actually kind of slow, all things considered. So I'm assuming he's locked into the Stone Edge. I'm going to go into Starmie, and I can recover, reflect type surf. Whatever I feel like doing, I can do it. And he is going to switch out, and he is going to go into his Sizzle. Now, this isn't too bad, because now I've reflect typed, I am now Bug, uh, bug Steel. So anything he wants to do, I will sponge. Yeah, he's going to need a hell of a lot of SDs slash crits to get rid of Starmie now, but he can also quite easily go back into Blaze again and Flare Blitz me. However, I'm just going to go for a Surf, get a nice portion of damage on it. And he's going to U-turn out, which is dandy, really. And he's Life Orb, so Entry has is going to be kicking his ass. Although that said, I do resist, or I did resist the U-turn, so I'm amazed he did that much, to be honest. But um, he's going to bring back in his uh, Blaziken again. I, I'm not going to hang around, am I? I'm going to get my ass kicked if I do. So I'm going to switch out. And I'm going to go into Mammoth Swine purely because, well, it, it was kind of a waste of Mammoth Swine, to be honest. But I, well, I, one, I figured he'd Flare Blitz. And two, I figured Mammoth Swine would die to a Flare Blitz, so I figured Recoil would just wreck him. However, he goes Blaze Kick, Blaze Kick, Blaze again. That makes sense. And now I'm going to go into um, Salamence, because I Intimidate him, he is minus one attack, he's locked into a really bad fire move. It's sort of the effective brother of Flame Wheel, I suppose. Or a shittier fire puncher. Well, I don't know. Whichever way you want to square it. But he stays in and goes blaze kick and gets a crit. And it's like, ah, that's not good. So I'm going to DD up because I need the damage. I need to go places. And um, I think I actually outspeed here. Which, again, points to blaze kick being quite a slow poke. Which I suppose means it would settle nicely in UU, which is where it was in 4th gen before. Oh no, it's too complex to just ban speed boost, oh it's gotta be Ubers, well. Blaze Blaziken would be really nice in the meta. But in comes um, Sizzle, I am not gonna just sack my ments, thank you. I have a fully functioning Starmie over here, which just renders your piece of shit metal bug useless. So, yeah, um, I can surf it, take it out. Uh, the last thing I have to kill, if I remember correctly, is a uh, Reuniclus. Which was interesting, for sure. I believe I recover here, or I just go surf, yeah. I went surf because I was worried he might pull a roost out of his ass, and I didn't really want to see that. And, yeah, that would really suck to try and kill it all over again, because it could U-turn out. Blah. But in comes Reuniclus, this is the last thing I have to kill. Now, I could very easily go into Mence, believe me. However... Because of that crit, I wouldn't feel confident bringing Mence in on this thing. So, it's kind of like, oh, when do I want to switch out? Is he going to predict me switching out? You know, the safest thing I had to do was just let him kill Starmie. However, if he's got Psychic Focus Blast combo, which a lot of them still do, because the fact that Sableye walls him completely hasn't run through their head yet, but oh well. I don't know. People enjoy... Uh, I don't think people really care about Sableye anymore. I don't think people use it in OU too much. 
don't know why, it's pretty good, but oh well. So I'm effectively just trying to sit here, get him to kill Starmie, but he doesn't want to bite, but I get a surf crit at one point. Yeah, I get it. The, the point is I get a crit to end the match, so I win. So there you go. Wasn't much of a surprise, was it? But it was a good match nonetheless. And that shows the fact that the curve, so I went from getting 6-0 to winning 2-0. So, hooray. I did good, and I did have ments. It just kind of depended if the Dragon Rush wanted to kill. Anyway, that's good game, sir. I hope you've enjoyed this little curve. I hope you enjoy more of my shitty curves to come, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.